New here at 3 in Tampa, there's a group of veterans and civilians working together to prove no sport is out of reach. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how they're building a team on and off the court. Well, twice a week, these adaptive athletes take center court for some wheelchair tennis. They say they're not just serving up bases, they're also serving up inspiration. There isn't one volley or one challenge. Army veteran Bill Hannigan is afraid to meet head on. It helps you focus on what you can still do, not what you lost. Bill is among a group of adaptive athletes, many of them veterans, proving that no sport is out of their reach. You know, the first thing is I can't do this. I can't do that. I lost the ability to do this. Um, and then you come out and you start playing the sport and you're like, oh, wow, I can still do this. And one more. The city of Tampa's Parks and Recreations Department hosts free tennis lessons every week. When I was introduced to wheelchair sports, it was like a whole, I was like a kid again. It's not enough just to show up. These players want to compete and they want to win. I never think about being in a wheelchair or being, you know, handicapped. I know I am and all that, but I mean, it's, it's, there's nothing I can't do. Tennis isn't often thought of as a team sport, but this group will be the first to tell you they are in this thing together. It's easy when you've been doing it as long as I have to see the little things that you can just shoot little pointers out to them and to see them pick it up and go, yeah, it's, it's very rewarding. And they're always looking to add to their roster. They even provide the equipment for new players looking to give their backhand a try this summer. Most of the recruiting comes like if I'm in Walmart and I see somebody in a wheelchair or somebody walking with a cane, I'll say, hey, do you know there's an opportunity to play wheelchair tennis? Come on out. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.